Ah, so you're back again. Whew. I guess you guys think this is like some kind of PC review site, huh? Uh, you guys want an unboxing, a review, something new? All right, you guys got me. My modus operandi is pretty plain. It's me, Elric, here on motherboards.org to bring you the unboxing of something new from Thekus. This is a $380 NAS unit that has lots of features, and this is the new N4100 Woo! Evo. Let's check out what comes in this box. All right, folks, like any good unboxing, let's start out by taking a look at the box. This one's the Thekus N4100 Evo Intelligent Design Evolve Your Digital Office NAS Server. Now, this thing's different than most of their products out in the market. First of all, it comes to the market very low price, about $380, and it features different stuff on it. For one thing, you can access this from anywhere remotely, and you can also access it from a Mac, a PC, Linux, basically any OS. Also features a large variety of RAID options. You get RAID 0, RAID 1, RAID 5, and JBot, which is just a bunch of disks. It means you can put just a bunch of different random ones in there and it'll configure it for you. Now, we're gonna come down here. We can see it as energy saving mode. When this thing's not being used, it only takes up 10 watts of power. That's really good, that's very low. Now, coming down here, we're gonna see some new stuff. This is the Octium Cavium Dual Core Processor. Now, I don't really know how well this is gonna work compared to the Atom, but they say that this processor is geared totally towards running a server-based or NAS-based system, which means it's built for producing storage, like this one we're doing on here. 256 megabytes of DDR2 are already on there. Features four SATA devices, iSCSI, XFS, here is the RAID options we talked about before. All the OS support, like we mentioned as well. Now, this thing has remote replication. So what that means, if you hook up to another one of these type of devices and you wanna copy all the information from this device onto another one, it allows it. This one's also hot swappable. For you folks who don't know what that means, it means this unit can be up and running live and it's gonna tell me, hey, disk four has just taken a crap. At that point, I can go up, remove that disk, put another one in and repair it without losing any of the information on the drives. Kind of like a SAS system, it's gonna be pretty cool. On the side of the box, we see a bunch of different options to running this. They're saying it'd be running as your print server, which is pretty cool. Surveillance center, off your Thekus NAS branch. This is where it says your R-Sync, was where you could copy all your information. Firmware and mobile access, they have Ajax and their Picaz, as well as their Thekus Share. This allows you to remotely access everything that's on the unit. This one's geared for the UL US. That's our, UL is our listing of rating. Flip it around, flip it around. Right here we say hardware RAID technology, a lot of information doing a RAID. This one actually does it very, very fast. So you won't be sitting around for hours doing that. It's got enhanced performance, advanced power management, which we saw before on the front, bulletproof data protection, that's what we said, hot swappable. So like a SAS, the information just gets switched around the drive so you don't lose any of your information. Robots feature set, that's all the features we talked to, and simple setup and operation, which means it's gonna be able to easily set up our RAID system, easy access it and use it. Now, with all that, let's see the damn thing. Pop the cap open on here on the top. Let's flip it forward here for the camera to get a view here. So on top, we see that we've got your little user's guide. We'll flip it around. We have the ethernet cable, the drivers, the locking keys, stickers, and all kinds of stuff for all in this kind of bag. You guys know what that stuff is. Here's the power cable. I didn't actually see a power brick yet, so maybe this just has direct power. You don't have to use a brick like you do with a laptop. Let's pull this thing out while I flip it around. Get that out. Hey, I did that slick without even hit the microphone. Hit the box, toss the box off to the side. There we go. Alley up. All right then. I'm going to pull the top off. Off to the side with that. Get this one off to the side too. Oh, it fell. All right. There we see it's in the plastic. Went ahead and very gently removed from this plastic bag. This one is very, very, very much heavier than that 2800 that I did over on Tech and Amaro. Much heavier. Here in the front, hmm, we can see that, that uh, this little plastic here is actually already starting to get uh, deteriorated from the environment, which is kind of weird. Here's our various buttons on the front here. These are all going to light up. All of our bays are located back here. Easy to lock in place. You guys can check these. I'm not gonna pull them all four out. 
but they're basically all hot swappable. You just push it in to lock it, push it to unlock it. Simple, unlock, lock. We also see that we have a single connection here in the front, our power button, and this also lights up, and this is the window that's gonna tell you all the operation of the Thekus when it's actually up and running. Flip it around, let you guys see the back of the unit. You guys can see the connectivity, USB, RJ45 LAN, and a single power plug. Like I said, no laptop, little brick needed on this bad boy. So let's flip it around. On the bottom, there are some little silicon gels here. These are very important. You don't munch these down if you're hungry. Just these, just you just throw them away. They're not, they're not, not free munchies. Don't even think so. So let's check it out. It's this, the bag of goodies, the unit itself, and the power cable. And that's about it, folks. The Thekus N41 Evo. Also, if you guys would like to pick one of these up for yourself, like I said before, it's only $380, a very low price. You guys can see the link in the description to pick this little bad boy up. Thanks for watching motherboards.org.